everyone, welcome back to my channel where I do makeup tutorials, makeup reviews, hauls and unboxing. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. So let's get started because today I'm going to talk about something that Paige Corrin made me buy it. She talked about it so much on her channel that I really had to buy it myself and put it to the test and review it. And I'm talking about the matte pro longwear paint bar in the shade painterly. So it's like a nude beige. I want to review this for you guys. It comes like this. So it's from the Mac store and it's in the shade painterly and it is basically a nude beige eye primer it's very very tiny but it does last you a long time okay so as you can see i have my face all done all i have is my eyes that are not done because i want to put this to the test it's an eye primer slash eyeshadow so you can use it as an eye primer and use it with your eyeshadows and eyeliners or you can use it by itself and just use it as an eyeshadow alone. So this is $26 Canadian, very highly pigmented. It is long wearing, very blendable eye primer slash eyeshadow. So we're gonna check it out and see how it performs. And I'll be using the Natasha Denona Biba palette because we know that this one, like it has to perform good if this primer is that amazing. Okay, so excited I got this one. I've been watching Paige Corn for a while now and she's kind of the one, the main reason why I started my beauty channel. And I really love the products she uses and she's been talking about this a lot on her channel and I wanted to try it as well. Let's open it up. Okay, it doesn't have any smell this is what it looks like so this is supposed to go on creamy to dry as an intense vibrant finish okay she applies it with a brush so I'm gonna be using the still spa essentials brush this one it's kind of fluffy and let's try it on so you're gonna go like this a couple times and again on my eyelids I don't have anything but a foundation I'm loving it already look at this I'll show you the difference so you apply it everywhere where you're gonna get eyeshadow on okay so you can see this one is applied I'm gonna look down so you guys can see better and this one just has the foundation on you can see how smooth so it it's literally like a cream over your eye and you can just leave it like this add some uh, colorful eyeliner in your waterline some mascara and you're good to go so this is a very quick tip you can use this as an eyeshadow or eye primer and continue adding whatever eyeshadows you want with it it blends very very smoothly from my first application on it so let's do the other eye it's supposed to create like seamless buildable coverage without looking very heavy and creamy it doesn't seem to crease you don't have to set it with powder because it's an eye primer look at that oh my goodness i really love it and i love the color i can just leave it as this and go be out the door not have to worry about adding anything else wow I'm loving it and it's only $26 Canadian so if you're in the US obviously it's cheaper the color stays true to itself how you put it it doesn't seem to streak it doesn't seem to crease at all I don't see any creasing as you guys can see like I said it can be worn alone or with any eyeshadows and eyeliners alone it looks amazing but I want to put it to the test with some eyeshadows and what I read about this is also good for concealer so people like to use this under the eyes and use it as concealers I'm not gonna do that because this is like a beige this is like a beige shades and I like to use lighter concealers but if you do have any type of acne, you can take a little bit and cover the acne with it with your finger and you're good to go. And this is also very good for mature eyes, for hooded eyes, because it doesn't crease. Like I said, it feels very lightweight. It feels like I have nothing on my eyelids. You know, like how powder and sometimes some um, concealer feel on your eyes. It feels very, very lightweight, like nothing on it. And like I said, it doesn't, it doesn't, I'm waiting and I'm waiting and it's not settling in the creases, which is good. Okay, so I will give you my final thoughts at the end. Let's go ahead and start using the Natasha Denona palette. Again, on my face, I have 
the Rare Beauty Foundation. I'll be linking it down below and I have a video on it, on my review on it, so you can see it down below. Also, I'm using the BH Cosmetics number no. five brush. It's this one right here. It's a fluffy brush and I'll have the link on this review down below as well. So let's go into, into Prairie right here. It's this one right here and start doing a nice eye look. See how this paint pot primer performs with, because I've been using just concealer, setting the concealer with uh, powder and that looked really good. So the first thing I'm noticing is very pigmented. It's very smooth, it doesn't make the eyeshadow look cakey. It seems like it's, it has more of a, like I don't feel it, but when I apply the eyeshadow, it seems like the eyeshadow actually sticks to the um, eyelid and it blends very, very nice. We're not gonna create a crazy, crazy look today. We're just gonna like put this to the test. So from, I'm, I'm really loving it so far. Like I said, I can tell the difference between wearing this and an actual concealer with set powder. And this I'm loving. I'll probably be using it on a daily basis. Wow, and I've read some reviews on this and anyone who's been using it daily they say it lasts at least up to one year, which is amazing, right? For $26. There you go, look at this. This is so beautiful. And with this paint pot color, the colors look really good. I love it that it's like a neutral beige. They have multiple colors on the website, on the MAC website, so you can go check them out. But I wanted to try the painterly uh, a primer. I love the nude beige color, and I believe that's the one Paige Corrin also was talking about. Okay. Now I'm gonna use the same brush. Let's go into freckle and intensify the um, uh, crease right here. I'm using the same brush. Let's see how this goes in the crease. And there's absolutely no creasing at all. The eyeshadow sticks very, very good to the eyelid. It's amazing, I love it. And the best, the bonus thing that I love about this uh, paint pot is, I love the name, it's so cute, paint pot, that it actually, you can use it alone without no other eyeshadows, which it actually saves you time when you have to go to work or in you're in a rush, you just add that to your eyelid, you're gonna have no creasing and you're good to go. So I like that you can use it as a primer or as an eyeshadow. So that was a bonus for me. Because I do have other eye primers, right? But obviously you can use them only as eye primers because they're like either see-through or it's just an eye primer is basically a sticky consistency cream that you put on your eyelids and it actually makes your eyeshadow last longer and not crease and not fade throughout the day. Let's go in this first shade again with the same brush and kind of do the same thing under the eye here and connect it with the top eyeshadow. I love Natasha Denona, is like one of my favorites. I also like Huda Beauty, Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. They, they're all amazing you can't go wrong with them wow this is so pretty looking I just created um, fall look with a smoky eye fall look and it is up on my channel already but I really love this fall colors okay I'll be using uh, the BH Cosmetics number no. 10 brush which is this one right here it's a smaller fluffy brush and I'm gonna go into Coco right here Coco Coco Okay, and I'll add it out outer corner right here. Oh, just I just touched the pen and look at that color. So so pretty. See how easy? There's absolutely no patching, no creasing. I'm really really loving this uh, because when you go with darker colors, you can easily have patches. But also the Natasha Denona is a great palette. But this primer, I'm telling you, it's just it. You apply it as a cream and it completely dries up and it gets your makeup like stuck to your eyelid in a type of like smoothing, non-creasing, non-sticking, non-greasing, nothing way. It's just amazing. And this brushes, oh my goodness, they're so good. I love them. So now I'm gonna use my finger. Let's go with some um, sparkly shades as well to see how this performs. So let's use Rustic. So I'm gonna go into this deep brown. It has some sparkles in it. 
So I use my finger and kind of put it in the middle like that. Give this look some rustic look. Do the same thing on the under eye. That's so pretty. And I'm gonna go into Monroe, which is this one right here, and put it in the inner corner. Same with this finger. Don't worry, we're gonna blend everything together. That is gorgeous. Okay, so now let's grab a brush. To make sure that we're really good in that inner corner, we're gonna spray it with the Urban Decay All Nighter. Okay, and then I'm gonna dip in the same Monroe color just to kind of intensify this color right here, make it more shiny and get in that inner corner a bit more. I'm gonna bring it in the inner corner a bit like that. Now what I wanna do is I'm gonna use, just to give it a pop of color. So now I'm gonna go into the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil. This is in the shade Two Two Turquoise. This is the color right here. And I just wanna add this in the waterline. Give it a pop of color, you know? I always love how uh, browns and blues go together, especially on the eye. I love this. It has a little bit of sparkles, I'll show you. It's hard to see. This is what the color actually looks like. It's so pretty. There you go, look at that. Now I'm gonna go into the Morphe Lit Highlighter and I'm gonna add a little bit more highlight underneath the brow bone and in the inner corner. So let me see if I can use this for underneath the brown bone here. Look at that, ooh, this is my favorite highlighter. You can't go wrong with this one in the inner corner a bit. And what I wanna do is add a little bit of a dark brown underneath, kind of like an eyeliner. So I'm gonna go into Coco again, kind of darken this area up a bit. Do you guys like it? What do you guys think? I think that it looks amazing. I'm gonna have a small intermission. I'm gonna go apply my favorite mascara, which is the Maybelline Rocket Volume Express Mascara. This is my favorite from the drugstore and I'll be right back. So welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the intermission. As you can see, the eye look is finished. There's absolutely no creasing at all. Okay. So this Painterly Paint Pot, where is it? Right here, by MAC. It is gorgeous, it's amazing. You can use it, like I said, as a eye primer. The eye primer slash eyeshadow, so you can just use it by itself, not add anything else, just a little bit of mascara, pop of color, and you're good to go. Or you can apply eyeshadows, just like what I did, because I wanted to put it to the test and see if it performs as well as it does with a concealer or with another eye primer, and it performs one of the best that I've ever owned. I have a lot of eye primers, I have a lot of concealers, and my makeup has never looked this good. So. It, like I said, when I put it on, it's like a thick cream. You can use your finger, but I prefer to use the brush. It blended smoothly. It did not crease at all. It's not cakey. The eyeshadow performed very good. It got stuck to the eye and it's not like sticky that you cannot blend it. It is sticky in a good way. The eyeshadow was able to blend perfectly. It did not crease at all. The dark colors blended very good, which with dark colors, sometimes you have problems when you blend, they become patchy. They didn't, it performed really good on that. And the good thing is that this is also good for hooded eyes, and it's also good for uh, more um, mature eyes, okay? So, final thoughts best primer, best eye primer ever. You will not regret buying this at all and I 100% recommend it to go pick it up. It lasts forever. You can use it as a primer, primer, eyeshadow, and it is very affordable in my opinion, okay? You won't regret it. You should just go purchase this. I'm telling you, it will save you a lot of time. That's my final thoughts on this. This is what Paige Coran made me buy. Anything else that I have on my face, I'll link down below so you guys can see um, what I'm using. And I really hope you enjoyed this review. I hope that this will help you make a decision whether you uh, will purchase this primer or not. Maybe you already have it. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of it, what you think of how the look performed, or let me know if um, you already own it. And if not, 
What is your favorite primer? Maybe there's other favorite primers out there that you guys have and I have, I don't know and I would like to learn more about that. So anyways, thank you so, so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you in my next one. Thank you guys, love you, bye.